Hello. If you hear any noises, that's my fan. It's extremely, extremely hot. Question for you guys. Do I look oily? Do I? Let me know because I changed my lighting. I've been having, I don't know, I've done 50 something videos and I think I've had only like the light reflecting my umbrella like three times. So in every video I notice that I look, I look extremely shiny and oily and my pores just are enhanced like it's a mirror like in your face so please let me know if I look oily hopefully I fix the lighting because that's been an issue and I've known I've had a little bit of bad skin lately so hopefully it's not you know a big deal so just let me know I think it looks better now hey it happens it's a brunette moment let's just call it that Okay, so before I get into my July favorites, I have just a few updates about my life just to randomly throw out there for those who are nosy and want to know. Um, first of all, I'm going through some of my videos and some of them I've had some issues with the music and some copyright, so a, a few of them or a couple of them will be taken down, re-edited, so I have to change the music, which really, it sucks. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, so if you see a few videos in the upcoming weeks, I don't think I'm planning on, on doing it anytime soon, but if you see any repeat videos, that's why, so this is just a warning, so I'll have some repeat videos, but not anytime soon I'm gonna have more new videos coming up one video that's been just highly requested a lot has been a room tour and usually I'm kind of personal about that type of stuff I don't really like to flaunt anything or show off anything because but let me not contradict myself I do like to show hauls and just share the shopping experience with you guys so you guys can see what I bought just in case you're interested and you can see my excitement over any sales or anything that's going on or any products that are like great so you guys can know about that but yes a room tour I know it's taken me forever because I have an issue if you guys don't know I tweet about it all the time I have an issue with hoarding and yes I talk about it like I'm proud of it everyone makes fun of me that I know who comes in my room yes my room is pretty messy especially when I'm trying to set up to film I have to move all my stuff on the other side or shove it in my closet that's how it is I'm such an organized person like mentally I like everything organized and I think it comes to the point where if it's not organized, it's just going to stay where it is on the floor until I have time to put everything together. I even bought, you know, my little makeup storage that I think I showed us a little sneak peek a few months ago in one of my videos. Maybe it's, it was a favorites video, I think. But even my makeup's not even in there. Like, I had it in storage and everything, and then it ended up all over the place. So I'm not afraid to say it. I... Yes, I'm a hoarder. I'm proud of it. No, it becomes, it gets to a point where it's actually, um, it can be dangerous because I had some scissors on the floor the other day and I didn't know and I sleep with pencils and I'm always poking myself. Anyways, with the scissors, I ended up cutting my foot because I had scissors on the floor and I couldn't really walk where I was going. And also, I remember like a few months ago, I even tweeted about this too, I had a Q-tip in my ear and I was putting it in my ear and I happened to just, I don't know, fall on the floor or something and the Q-tip got just stuck in my ear, like just went, <clears throat> and it was painful, I bled a little. Uh, I'm grateful to be hearing still. That's good news. Um, yeah, but little situations like that, so I need to be more, at least make sure the floor area in my room is clean. So, yes, a little room tour coming up and perhaps makeup as well. 
I'm um, probably not where I want to be with um, my makeup storage yet, but I will show you and I can always update it later. Also, potential opportunity for me. Um, there's a big potential that I might be moving, so I might be leaving my room. So this would be a great time to, to document my room and how I love it. And it's gray because I painted my room and I'm like so proud of it. I painted it myself. So, yeah, that's just some updates. That's what's going on with me. And this will give me an opportunity to probably film more because I don't always get that privacy. And there's, you know, people who's always talking in the background. So, and then I think I'll show, I've gotten some requests to do like a, a like a bathroom type of tour or shower, caddy or whatever you call it. So I think I would probably do that in my new apartment. Okay, and also I really want to know what you guys are interested in. Like if you have any requests, just throw it out there. Don't hesitate. You can talk to me about whatever. If you have any questions about anything, any products, just feel free. You know, I love to answer just to comments, anything like that. So if you have, you know, any requests, like let me know. You should let me know. Okay, so now on to the July favorite. Okay, so randomly, let's just start out with your feet. It's summertime, you wanna have cute feet. You know, some of you might have calluses or corns. You know, I won't point out any fingers. You know, my feet maintain pretty smooth. I like this um, little, uh, what's it called? Diamond, diamond cell, little foot filer here. And as you can see, it has a little diamond studded detail there and this stuff works rapidly like on your feet just to make them even smoother because I know walking with sandals you get that white you know stuff on your feet like that dead skin on your feet and just corns from wearing shoes or anything like that it's natural you get it another combination of blush Revlon cream blush and rosy Oh, Rosy Glow. I just used it on my last tutorial, actually. It's a really nice, light, baby pink color. And it also has this little mirror here that pops out. But I forget about the mirror. I don't even use it much. I forget that it has a mirror. But I bought it because I'm still in the craze for cream blushes. And this color was concerned that it wouldn't look that good on my skin or wasn't or it wouldn't show up, but you have to pack it on a little bit more because it can be semi sheer, as you can see. Just well, you can see it there, but I pack it on just a little bit more lightly, and it gives a really pretty glow, like a highlight like on your cheekbone right here. Really pretty, I use it as blush as well, but I like the radiance and the glow that it gives me. It's really pretty and I've gotten lots of compliments on this. Uh, it fades, it just does. But um, I apply this little combination. This is called Don't Be Shy. And as you can see, can you see the little Barbie there? Yeah, it's called Don't Be Shy. This came out with the MAC Barbie collection a few years ago. Still have it. I never really used it that much, but two good combinations, pretty similar colors. And they just go, so I just set that lightly with this, and it stays on about the whole day. Good amount of hours. Okay, now for skin. So this is a repeat item, but I've been, I ran out, and then I started using it a lot. This is the Clean and Clear Persa gel 10 it's called and it has benzoyl peroxide 10 percent and that's just like the clean and clear breakout cleanser i also use that but this is nearly more effective than it i just apply it just right on that area and within like two days it's nearly gone and just dry and it works pretty fast and this has been helping me out a lot especially with my skin's been the worst seems like I had I had bad skin or bad acne when I was 12 but now it's just getting ridiculous I shouldn't have acne like this bad but it's I'm having a good face week so 
this is probably due to it because I've been using this for the past week since I repurchased it again. So this is good. Yeah, so this is my clean and clear, the one that I use, but I want to use something different. Maybe, you know, maybe my skin's just too used to this. This was working in the beginning, but now I don't know. It's like I get a new pimple every every day or every other day. Like I'm tired of breaking out. If you have any recommendations for any skin care acne systems out there that have worked for you, let me know. The next one I want to try is Murad. I've been wanting to do a skincare routine type of video, but it's like I'm still trying to get the right combination of all products that are good for my face. You know what I mean? But with acne, you know, that's something that you try to control on a daily basis, especially me. I have just oilier skin now. Yeah, so on the skincare video, I think I'll wait for that unless you guys want. You let me know because I have an accumulation of things that I use for my for my skin. Okay, and for oil control, I bought this. Well, I got this a few months ago with a purchase that I made, and I got this as a sample. Deep Slick in a Tube by Urban Decay. And this is just like a mattifying gel. It's clear on. It Depending on how you apply it, can look a little bit patchy. But I've just been using this for around like right here. Like when I smile or around my nose, I get ex that's where I get extremely oily there and I noticed that powder what it does it starts to just crease there when you smile just really oily there and I noticed this really this just solved the issue that issue right there um, I apply this after my moisturizer and before before my makeup or you could do it both but I rather do it the way I do it before my makeup just because it could get kind of patchy and kind of messed up mess up your foundation a little bit so I do that and I stayed I stay pretty matte in that area for a pretty long time let's say six six to eight hours tops even if I am sweating a little bit here it's still maintained so wow that's a little tip right there for oil control if you have that issue it, it helps so when I'm done with this for sure I'm gonna repurchase also just makeup wipes in general these are no particular brand I like to get mine at discount stores like if you have a grocery outlet near you or a big lots they have them for really cheap like a dollar or two I'm not that particular about makeup wipes these are nice because they're cucumber so that soothes the skin and calms it down but I've been loving this because one thing that's been helping improve my skin more that I noticed is I like to have my makeup on from the morning and then sometimes I'll take it to the evening as well and that's where that's where it's bad so what I start doing is after I come home maybe it's like four or five or whatever time I come home and if I'm going to the gym later I'll just you know use a wipe and I'll just wipe off my makeup and then I'll just reapply that helps a lot that's been controlling my acne do the double application okay and the last beauty item I've been really wanting this color for a long time but I wasn't sure if I wanted it and it's by SE so I bought one of those the little mini ones this is from the Brazilians collection so cute little mini bottle and this is smooth sailing smooth sailing oh and I actually don't have any nail polish on all natural it's a really pretty just blue color you know what I'm just gonna paint it it's like a periwinkle blue very pretty color it's just shimmery it looks lighter on film on the camera than it does in person um, it just reminds me of a jean type of blue almost like like you're out sailing like um yeah, you know, sailing captain, nautical theme, that type of thing, and it's shimmery, iridescent. It's just really pretty blue, and this is a smaller size. So it came. This one came with two little mini ones for the same price as you would buy one. So I got this at 
at Walmart. Okay, and just for a few, just random, just throwing it out since school's gonna start. Uh, most schools starting between at the end of August, September. So I bought these books ahead of time at Walmart and I got it in in May. I bought them in May. I've been wanting an agenda forever just to stay more just to stay more organized. And what I noticed is like back in May everything was for July. All the agenda books were for July. So I got this one. Just pretty and this is a very good quality one. This is by um Poppy Palooza. If you can see there, Poppy Palooza. And this is from July 2011 till December 2012, so that's plenty of time. So it's longer than a year. I like it when it's like that. This one was a really good quality one. Let me just show you a few things. That's the front page, and I'll just show you October so you can see. So it has the whole calendar there, and it has tabs for each month. And then for each week, it has the little, just a little to-do list right here, or whatever you want to put, just lines in the days, a little weekly tasks to do too. So I like that a lot. And then in the back, it has just some stuff you want to, if you want to buy something, it has a list there and websites and stuff like that. So this is a really good book, better than the other ones out there. And it's not that pricey. I think it was around, I'm guessing like five, six dollars at most, I think. But it's a really good agenda, really good agenda. Yeah, I just like the features it has. And then with that, I also got this little Mickey Mouse journal. This is my favorite, I love this thing. Oh, and it has this little band right here. So if you wanna keep any papers or envelopes or anything in there. So this is from Walmart as well. It's like a little journal and just looks like this. Just blank and it has Mickey right there. And then you could just make your to more to-do list or a list of things that you need to get done daily because Sometimes you need more than an agenda book to write, but these two combinations for back to school is awesome. I love it. I love it. I use this thing every day. So these are my just two favorite, and I think a very important for back to school, just to stay very organized on top of things. It's really helpful with phones. I don't really like to do it on phones or on the computer, I'd rather just write it down and check it off as I go. So I think that's everything for my favorites. Like I said, um, let me know your thoughts, comment down below. See you in the next video. Bye you guys.